Hello and welcome to a new series right here where my focus is going to be clean architecture, more specifically the Onion architecture that looks something like this. We're going to talk about how we can develop software using this architecture right here, how we can use the core to actually build some stable software that never needs to change, add infrastructure stuff if you want to kind of have components that are changeable later on and also we are able to change user interfaces later on as well without actually changing anything inside the core of our application and we'll have a look at all of that. We'll also talk about how we can add an ASP.NET Web API. Uh, we're talking .NET Core right now and we are in 2021. So I'm going to, of course, use the newest version, which is 5.0. And we're going to have a talk about how you can actually use that combined with the entity framework so we can also save some data. And to kind of wrap it all up, I'm also going to add a bit of information about how we can use Angular in the front end in order to connect all of these different things. And next lesson, we'll have a talk about all of these things and how they are joined together in order to make a real web application from scratch where we can save the data in an actual database and how we can actually even deploy everything at the end of the series to just have some fun and some laughs. This is the drawing I'm going to talk about and look at it. It's crazy to look at and I'll try and explain all these different things for you. This is actually a backend code that's going to look something like this. Let's go up a bit and here we're going to have a look at the the way that we actually communicate from a front end over here and all the way to a back end tier. This is just a teaser. I'm going to dive into all of this as well. We're going to also have a talk about the actual code itself, the production code. I'm going to explain all of these lines right here and how they work, how we can actually move away from using a basic console application into actually using an actual web API so we can communicate with the net. We're also going to talk about how we can use these basic in-memory databases and convert them into real databases using the NC framework. So much great stuff. Just hang in there and prepare yourself. Final thing, let me show you the current program as it is. You have a basic console application. I can go in and I can say one to create a new video, two to see all videos. Let's try and create a new video. What should be the name? Uh, Firefox 2. I don't know if that exists, but I'm going to make it. Firefox 2 runs around. That's a great storyline. So let's try and execute this. And there we go two to see all the videos and there we go we have two three videos now and the first has id one two and three very very basic stuff but don't worry we'll expand all of this and we'll get away from a console app and into an actual world that's usable in 2021 by adding a rest api front end and also database so see you all in the next lesson where we'll start to have a look at the actual architecture bye bye